What's going on my PT peeps and my Walking Dead family? Welcome to the PT channel. I'm One Eye Bry, also known as PT, and I'm back to talk about The Walking Dead Season 10, the trailer for Season 10, the movies, comics, show, spoiler warning for everything Walking Dead related. Comic stuff, show stuff, movie stuff, The Walking Dead universe as a whole, spoiler warning. But who's this on the boat? If you checked out the trailer, it's pretty obvious who is on the boat. Well, at least one person. But who do you think it is? What do you think the theory is? And what's going on? Big ups to every person that told me about this. If it was from a YouTube channel, congratulations to that person. Don't know who to give credit to, but congrats to that person and that channel. Big ups to them and a shout out. But in the trailer, we see the boat. This boat sailing in the water. You see on the sails, it says USA on one and the other, it says 1122. So what do those mean? I'm not sure, but I'll tell you in a second. And then the camera pans around and we see this shot right here. It looks like Michonne and someone else. You clearly see Michonne with the hair, the shirt, and it's obvious. But the other person, I'm not sure. Some people say it's Judith. Is it RJ? Is it Aaron? Is it Dante? Is it somebody else teaching Michonne how to use the boat? And what's going on here? Just don't know. But it's clearly Michonne and she's on a boat and she's sailing somewhere. The fact that it says USA and 1122 means to me that they're going to keep something in the United States or it was just made in the United States. But to me, it's an Easter egg for the movies. Potentially, it'll stay in the United States and it could premiere on 11-22, which is a Sunday. 11-22-2020 is a Sunday. But how can that little boat get around in the ocean? To me, I don't know if that boat is considered a dinghy. That's a great word, a dinghy, a small boat. But could it travel from Virginia up the East Coast to Philadelphia or wherever Rick is? We just have to wait and see, but it's kind of a small boat and maybe just Michonne is learning how to sail and use a boat because potentially she may get on a boat to go find Rick and she's never done it before, so she's gotta learn. But if you look at the outfits in the trailer, Michonne is wearing kind of a tan brown top here and also a black top in the trailer. So that, that means two different days and two different sequences. On the boat, I believe she's wearing this top and in the trailer she walks by Father Gabriel, maybe she gets on a horse and rides the ocean side. I'm not sure what's going on exactly, but you see the top here as well when she's with Judith around a different location. I haven't really seen that background before. It looks like it could be Oceanside or Hilltop or Alexandria, but to me, it's probably Oceanside because they were probably on a boat and something's going on here. So she may get on the boat and go to Oceanside more than once because you see that top right here. And then here you see a black top where she's talking to Aaron and it looks to be around Oceanside to me. I think it's Oceanside here. And you see the skull and crossbones. Is that a new group that's coming around? Is it a militia? Is it pirates? If you know the comics, you know that Michonne goes onto a boat and sails around a little bit before coming back. A much different storyline for the comic than the show. But you see the different look and she's there at Oceanside with the black top and Judith and Connie and Kelly and everybody when they're training and it's a great sequence. But the two different tops means that she's going to be there more than once. Is she going away on a boat this season? I would say it's highly likely for multiple reasons that I've said before, but if she's going to find Rick, it makes sense that she would travel on a boat or a horse or a plane or a train or a helicopter, but what do they have access to? Boats from Oceanside for sure, and that might be the best way to get around. But what's gonna happen with Judith and RJ and Alexandria and the Whisperer of War? We have to see, but the word is, is that they filmed different episodes of season 10, most likely for Denai Guerrero's filming schedule. And I'm not sure how many episodes she's gonna be in. Initially, it was like a handful, so five or six. Could be more, probably more, hopefully more, but they can film out of order and film all of Michonne's episodes, also along with other parts and episodes, and as long as they keep track with it, it could be a mess, but they can film all of Denai Guerrero's episodes before the break. They film eight episodes, take a week or two long break and then film the back half. And they film from late April, early May, all the way till November. And then we saw this boat right here. This is more likely the boat I would think that Michonne would take to go find Rick and sail up and down the East Coast, wherever she's gotta go. Which right now, my theory is that she sails to Philadelphia to find Rick. She can go up the East Coast, up the Atlantic Ocean, into the Delaware River, and then boom, right into Philadelphia, right there. Boom, let's do it, let's go. But when are they gonna start filming these movies? Because the latest information I have is that Andrew Lincoln is going to Australia to film a movie with Naomi Watts, which has nothing to do with The Walking Dead. So when are they gonna start filming this? Where are they gonna film it? When's it gonna get going? And how is Michonne gonna find out about Rick? 
It's got to be the radio, right? They're not going to send a raven or a hot air balloon telegram. I mean, it's got to be the radio from Jadis, Georgie, Stephanie, Maggie, somebody, right? But it's crazy to think that Rick went away in this universe for over six years, maybe six and a half, close to seven years by now. That's crazy because we're going to get a time jump in the start of season 10. And it could be a couple months. So it could be like six and a half years since Rick went away. And when we saw Eugene running to the radio, we're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be Stephanie. It's got to be the Commonwealth, right? Well, I just think it's Hilltop calling for help. I think Hilltop and Alexandria have the radios now. They can communicate, which why did it take so long for that to happen? But either way, they have the radios and they can communicate because I think it has to do with the fire and Hilltop is under duress, or somebody started a fire, or the fire is burning out of control, or somebody had the great idea to set a fire to weed out the whispers and walkers to attract them and burn it up, but you're burning down trees in the forest and the woods here, so I'm not sure exactly what the point's going on here, but it looks pretty badass with Michonne and Daryl. You can see the tanks, which are probably water tanks, and they're trying to put the fire out, and I believe part of the highwaymen that is still alive, they're not all gone, is there to fight the fire, and they're part of the militia now to help the group fight the whispers. But the fire is burning out of control and it's a pretty big fire. And it just seems that it's a little much. So who did it? Who started the fire? We didn't start the fire. But what's going on here? I can't wait to find out. Season 10 looks to be great. And I love talking about this stuff. And I can't wait to see what this is all about. Shown, Judith, taking down walkers. It looks to be around Alexandria, maybe Hilltop, but I believe the Whispers will come at night with their huge walker horde and attack Alexandria and probably Hilltop at the same time and hopefully at night where the group doesn't see it coming. But if Michonne and really Daryl don't reunite with Rick, it's a missed opportunity for the show, the universe, the movies, everything to connect because who doesn't want to see Michonne and Daryl find Rick? I do. I really want to see that, right? So say Rick goes away and he's with Jadis, maybe he's there. And that's the story, right? But the whole time we're gonna be like, when's Daryl getting there? When's Michonne gonna be there? Is RJ and Judith coming? Is Carol gonna be there? And I think it's a huge missed opportunity if it doesn't happen. So hopefully Gimple, Kirkman, everybody involved will make it happen because we wanna see that. Maybe it's the second movie or at worst case scenario, the third movie. Because the first movie could be about Rick and Jadis and Heath and the six years that he's been at this camp and he can't leave and why can't he leave this community and what's going on there. But Rick needs to be reunited with Daryl and Michonne and they need to break Rick out, right? That's what I think. But we'll have to see what happens. But who is this? It's clearly Michonne, but who is the other person? And is she just learning to sail? I think that's what's going on here, but it could be her actually leaving the area but she's only with one other person. Would she really leave by herself basically with one other person? Will she bring Judith and RJ? Will Aaron go with her? Will Eugene, Aaron, Magna, Yumiko, whoever go with her? I can't wait to find out, but let me know your thoughts, post your comments below and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already to become a PT Channel Walking Dead family member, a valued PT Channel Walking Dead family member and help us achieve our goal of 100 thousand subscribers and remember with hard work dedication belief and sacrifice you can truly achieve your goals believe in yourself you can do it it's about love support staying positive making memories and as always tell them daryl yo we love you guys honestly thank you